YouTuber is a geographic scholar, and today's topic is going to be about the city of Seattle, Washington, and its climate. Now, Seattle gets a reputation for having a very rainy climate, and when you look at the total rainfall, it's only about 37 inches a year. I live in the Atlanta area, and we get about 47 to 50 inches of rain a year, much more than Seattle. Seattle does get more rainy days, especially in the winter. And there is one feature about Seattle's climate. At 47.63 degrees latitude, Seattle is the northernmost major city in the lower 48 states. Now, if people were to judge that on latitude alone, you would think, well, it's going to be the coldest city in the U.S. No, it's not. Minneapolis, Minnesota is located much further south than Seattle, and it is the coldest city in the U.S. Now, why is it that Seattle, being located much further north than the Twin Cities in Minnesota, gets warmer? I'm going to explain something. You've got these ocean currents right here. You've got the North Pacific Current. You've got the California Current here. You've got the Alaska Current. And you see you've got this warm current here. Goes right up through Alaska, the Gulf of Alaska, and this low pressure system. Now please remember, low pressure systems are associated with storms because you've got a lower barometric pressure. And so that's where you get all that rain. Now let me explain the course. That lower pressure system, you know, it shifts. And so you're getting all these storms into the northwest. They hit the Olympic Mountains on the west coast of Washington. They pass over the mountains, and it comes in the form of drizzle on the other side, on the Puget Sound, which is why Seattle gets a lot of drizzle. And at that same token, it keeps the current, the currents keep Seattle from getting colder than it normally would for that latitude. There's another feature that keeps Seattle from getting much colder than it could get. The, these mountains, the other chain of mountains, the Cascade Mountains, the Cascade Mountains help because you've got all this cold air originating here in Hudson Bay and the Arctic Ocean and this air is like whoosh. That air, that cold air mass, it's affecting places like Detroit, Minneapolis, St. Louis, Chicago, Milwaukee. But not Seattle, because, you know, those mountains will block all that stuff. And, you know, Seattle's actually at a lower altitude than the cities I mentioned as well. You know, Minneapolis, Chicago, they're not at that high of, a la of an altitude to begin with. If they're not Denver at 5,280 feet. I mean, that's Denver. But those other cities are not Denver. But I would say Seattle being at an even lower altitude, you know, it keeps it even warmer. And, you know, that is my explanation of why Seattle does not get that cold in the winter. That is my, that is my video for the day. <laughs> Actually, not for the day. I've made more, but that is my piece on Seattle. If you got anything to say, leave a comment. Remember to like this video and to subscribe. Thank you.